Sure, I didn't know there was a garage sale going on in here. Hey, Ruben. Yo, is all this stuff yours? Yeah. Not all that much. Yo, you got a microwave in there, too? Do you think that I'm going to drink that Bill's that you call coffee? I have got to drink my espresso all day. Oh, I see. So that explains your calm and quiet nature, huh? <laughs> yes. It is my first official day on the job, and I want to make myself feel at home. Did you uh, clear this out with Winthrop? Nope. Well, you don't know him very well, do you? As well as I want to. Oh, do you plan on playing that thing while the suits are trying to work? Why, they got something against the fine thing? Oh, man. <laughs> I want a front row seat for this. Uh, this place is about as cheery as a crutch, Reuben. I'm surprised to stay in business as long. Yo, you read all this stuff? Hey, you gotta be on top of what's hot and what's not, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's what Winthrop and Edwards is all about. Maybe Stacy will pick one up and learn a few things about style. Now, hold up. What is wrong with Stacy's style? Nothing, if you like sleep. Do you plan on getting any work done today? Ruben, there is nothing wrong with working hard and having a good time at the same time. All right. I mean, I can go for that. Yeah. You, uh, don't have any heart trouble? And, uh, you live longer or something. I don't know. You like that, Craig? Yeah. Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. You know, I was about three years old when they recorded this. Hey, Come on. Don't you make me feel old now, Ruben. I would never, ever do that to you. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. what you think you're doing? Um, we were singing. Oh, is that what that was? I thought we sounded pretty good. <laughs> Me too. Can you read? Excuse me? You see the sign on the door, Attorneys at Law? Yep. That's what it says, all right. May I ask why an office for Attorneys at Law has suddenly been turned into amateur night at the Pelican Club? <laughs> That's a good idea, man. I can get my sister to get us an audition. <laughs> you see me laughing, Reuben? Huh? No. No, I don't. Hey, Cass. You know, why don't you lighten up a little? Lighten up? What do you think I'm running here? I think that you're trying to run an office where people like their jobs and enjoy coming to work every day. Oh, man, I give up. There is an article in this magazine that says that music is proven to, to spark creativity and enhance the working environment. I told you this was probationary. And music is a parole violation? What? What is this? What? What is all of this? Well, it heats the water and it frosts the milk for cappuccino. Yeah, she, uh, she don't like the stuff I make, I guess. You're not supposed to like it. It's office coffee. And anyway, taste is not the point. Have either of you done any work around here today? Plenty. Oh, and by the way, when are we going to get a bigger office? Pardon me, did you say we? <laughs> well, let's face it, Cass, this office is not big enough for the two of us. Now, that's the first sane statement you've made all day. I have a meeting with a lawyer down the hall. Uh, do you think you two could find something constructive to do while I'm gone? Can you handle that? Yeah. Yes, yes, we can. Well, sorry. Hey, Frankie, I know you think you're highly amusing, but don't take any chances if you want this job. Oh, he hasn't always been that uptight. Oh, come on, Ruben. That guy was born in a suit. He's been going through a lot lately, all right? So why'd you have to take it out on me? Yo, he hired you, didn't he? Oh, you heard the guy. He said it was strictly probationary. Look, he's just... He's just careful, that's all. I mean, look at me. I, I mean, he took a shot with me. I mean, he bailed me out of a jam. He... He just... 
If he believes in you, then he'll stand by you, that's all. What kind of jam? Uh, Winthrop. He, uh, got me out on probation. If it wasn't for him, I'd be doing some, some big time right now. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, he got me out on probation. Yeah, it's funny, I'm working it off here. Well, he did that for you? Yeah. You know, if you just hang out and see what I'm talking about, you'll understand. I mean, they really don't make too many men like Winthrop no more. <laughs>